This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I set up KDE to have some tiling functionality. It's a setup that I've been using for a couple months now, and it works pretty well for me. It's not going to replace a full-blown tiling window manager, but it gets the job done. So I have a fresh installation of Kubuntu 20.04 in a virtual machine. And the first step is we want to move the uh, taskbar from the bottom to the top of the screen to mimic what we see in tiling window managers like DWM and i3. So we can click on edit panel, grab screen edge and drag it all the way to the top. And the other thing I want to do is uh, reduce the height a little bit. So I'll click on height and just reduce it so it's a little bit smaller. So while we're still in edit mode, if you float over the left hand corner, you'll see we have pager and the task manager. So for the task manager, I'm going to set that to icons only task manager because I like to have the icons present for the applications I'm running up at the top of the screen. Then I'm going to go back into edit mode and we're going to float over the pager and I will go to configure and just set the display to desktop number. You can set it to show a name like you would show in like the i3 bar, but I don't use names, I just use the number. So that works for me. Next, we're gonna navigate to the system settings and we're gonna install the tiling script Cronkite that's gonna allow us to do all the tiling magic. So we'll click on window management, Kwin scripts and navigate to get new scripts. And you can just type in tiling and search and Cronkite shows up as the second entry. Click on install and now it's installed on our system. You may have to navigate away from KWIN scripts and go back for it to show up. But once it's there, you can click on the checkbox next to it to enable it. Once it's enabled, click apply in the bottom right hand corner and Cronkite is now active. To see all the default shortcuts for Cronkite, click on shortcuts and then under global shortcuts, select KWIN and we can search for Cronkite and this will pull up all of the default shortcuts. By default, Cronkite uses the DWM style of tiling. So there's a master window and then your sub windows. So if we open up something like Discover and Kate, you can see that our master window is here on the left and we have our two sub windows here. So it follows the DWM rules. We can change the master using meta key return. So if I select Kate and press windows key enter, that becomes the master. And I can do that with any of the windows. Alt tab still works in this configuration. It's easy to cycle through the default layouts using the meta key plus backslash. And as you change to the different layouts, a small pop-up will show which one you've selected. You can move backwards through that by using Meta plus Pipe, which is just the Windows key, Shift, and the backslash. Resizing is easily done with Meta plus Control and K and H. And Windows can be placed in the float mode using Meta plus F. All these shortcuts are easily configurable. So for instance, if you're comfortable with i3 and you want to make the shortcuts more i3-like, you can easily do that here. To get rid of the borders and headers on Windows, you can navigate to Application Style and then Window Decorations. And right now we're using the Breeze theme. So we're gonna click on the Edit icon. We're gonna navigate to the Window Specific tab and we're gonna add a new rule and type in a regular expression, which is period star. And then we're going to set the border size to no border and hide window title bar. Once we click OK, it will apply the changes and you can see the bar at the top of the window is gone and we have no borders. To mimic other tiling window managers, we do want to set up a couple of virtual desktops to emulate the spaces that you get on a tiling WM. It's not exactly the same, but it's a close enough approximation. 
By default, we have one desktop. I'm gonna add seven more, so we have a total of eight. And then rename them appropriately. So I'm just gonna go with numbers. Looks like I made one extra, so we'll just delete that. And then click on apply. So now you can see at the top, we have our virtual desktops and we can switch between them by clicking. What I like to do is set this to the I3 shortcuts, which is meta plus a number key. To set this up, we'll click on shortcuts, global shortcuts, navigate to Kwin. You can type desktop into the search and you see we have our switch to desktop options and I'll just click on custom, click on none and we'll do meta plus one. This is already assigned to something else, but I wanna take this over so we can use it to switch to our workspace. So I'll hit reassign and just repeat the process for each workspace. And then I'll click apply in the bottom right. And now if I use meta plus a number key, that will automatically swap me between desktops. Now a problem you may run into is knowing what window is focused when you're in a tiling window situation. And a good way around that is to use the compositor to dim all the inactive windows. To enable that, we can go to workspace behavior and desktop effects. And then we're gonna select dim inactive, which is under the focus category, and then click on apply. So if we open up another window, for instance, Kate, you can see that the system settings window dims. If we add another window, for instance, Dolphin, that becomes the focus and Kate dims. If I move between windows, you can see whatever is selected lights up. There's a couple considerations to make when using a multi-monitor setup. If you have more than one monitor, you wanna to navigate to window management, window behavior, and there will be an additional option down here at the bottom called separate screen focus. This will allow you to set a shortcut so you can switch between your left and right monitors, or if you have three monitors, left, right, and middle monitors. There is a limitation with the virtual desktops in Plasma. You cannot have a different virtual desktop per monitor. So when I switch to desktop two, it's desktop two for my left and right monitor. Three, it's the same thing. I can't have desktop one on the left and desktop two on the right. That's just a shortcoming of not using a full tiling window manager. A shortcut to configure for a dual monitor setup is the ability to switch an application between the left and the right monitor. To do that, you can navigate to shortcuts, global shortcuts, Kwin, and a monitor is not referred to as a monitor in Plasma, it's referred to as a screen. So if you search for a screen, you have the ability to set window to next screen, window to previous screen. Now I'm only using two monitors, or as it's referred to here, screens. So I just set up the window to next screen as a shortcut, such as the meta key plus X, which is what you would see in I3 to switch between monitors. And that allows me to toggle an application between my left and right screens. So that's how you set up KDE to mimic a tiling window manager's functionality. It's not gonna work for everybody. And if you want true tiling functionality, you should use a tiling window manager, but it works for me and I figured I'd share it with you. So if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.